Now, uh, I wonder if you've been able to come to a sort of a conclusion, an idea about what Korean mothers are like as opposed to Western mothers, I, uh, I suppose, that you've known uh, pretty much uh, for the rest of your life. Well, it's, uh, you know, we're, we're in the middle of a, of a cultural change th throughout the world. So I know that, that I mean, I, I think that, that, that Korean mothers love their children, they're protective of their children. American mothers are too, uh, maybe in a different way. Mm -hmm. uh, it all, a lot of it goes back to this, this idea of, 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 the, of the roots of culture. Mm. Right? This is one of the things that we teach in the, in, in the class that I, I teach intercultural communications at, uh, at uh, Suk Myung, and this is one of the things that we talk about in class a lot, where you see uh, the, the things that you see in a culture are, uh, are what you can, you can envision because you can go out and you, sing, you can say, oh, it's, you know, the hogwans, they're all taking the hogwan, and all the Koreans study hard, and they study until 12 o'clock. But all of that comes from the roots of society. So in other words, culture is very much like a tree where everything that you see is up here in the branches, but everything that you don't see is what creates all that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that comes from the history of, of you know, the, 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 the royal history that, that, that Korea had with the Yangbang and how all that changed mm -hmm. in, in, the, in 2010 when the Japanese came and, and how it, it, it changed after the war and, and uh, you know, just how, how, how the society has changed and, and, and uh, you know, people, women are, are, are protective of their children. They, they, they'll do anything mm. to get their children ahead of somebody else because it's such a, it's such a, a, a competitive society. One thing for sure is that you wouldn't actually find uh, any sisters-in-law clubs in the United States because I guess in Western culture there aren't that many uh, family occasions where sisters-in-law come together. I'm saying that because you think you might name it, name the play the sisters-in-law club, right? Right, well, uh -huh. and, that's, that, and see that's very true yeah. because well here during certain times of the year where like the Kim Jong or, or, or Chuseok, the sisters-in-law get together and they make food. Right. And uh, uh, there aren't occasions like that in Western not, culture. Not really. not really. I mean, maybe at a funeral or something, but right. even then, it's, <laughs> it wouldn't be where it would just be the women that would be getting together to do this. I mean, the women are expected to, to, to do something like this. So. Well, I believe you're also working on uh, some other productions, uh, some other Korean productions. You're actually working on translating them and uh, introducing them to other markets abroad? Well, I'm trying. Mm -hmm. I just, I finished uh, uh, E by uh, Kim Tae Woong. Mm -hmm. um, for those of, of you Westerners who don't know that, that uh, it's um, the original, Hwang Namja. The original play for the King and the Clown. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the King's Man, it's mm -hmm. a, it's a, which was made into a very popular film. Right. Um, yeah, I finished that. Oh. Uh, I, I've, I took that to Chicago, and I took it to the people that I know in Chicago, and I sat down. I took it to about six different theaters, and I sat down in these meetings, and I, and I took the script, and I said, I've got this script, and I came all the way from Korea to give you this script. Mm -hmm. You have to read, read it. it. It's a classic. And it is. It's a, it's a classic in, in, in world drama, and, uh -huh. and, and somebody has got to do it right. because it's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a fantastic piece. You're also working on a musical. Yes, I'm translating, translating uh, uh, Zhang Yu Zhang's uh, uh, Oh, While You Were Sleeping. Right, right. Oh, well. Um, I hope those efforts will bear fruit so that... I think they will. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's just a, a matter of, of, you know, keeping yeah. after it. A lot of the thing with, uh, with E, E would make, a, would make an excellent Broadway play. Mm. Somebody would have to go in and they, they would have to adapt it because there's a, there's a lot of, of the Korean history and, and elements of it that, are, that, that may be unclear to Westerners. So, so there would have to be an adaptation by it. But um, I'm hoping that uh, that somebody decides to do that. Also, and, and I've, I've, I've said this to anybody that will listen, uh, if there's somebody out in the government that's watching this show. <laughs> uh, You're using this show to promote your well, ideas. It, it's, it's, it, people, people are always thinking like, well, how do we, how do we let people know about Korea? How do well, we, this how do is we, one way. Yeah, and I, and I, and I think that, that if, if, if there was a Korean play that was on Broadway, especially something that's, that's such an excellent piece of work that, 
you know, that would be something that, that, that would generate interest without going the normal way of spending all your money on CNN. Well, I hope there are person. people out there listening and paying attention to what you're saying. Right Pay attention. Now. <laughs> thank you very much for, for joining us today. Thank and you. I wish you the best of luck with all of your endeavors. Well, thank you. Mm. I appreciate it. Thanks for asking me. Now, Will Kern says he's also thinking about uh, writing another play, and this one's going to be a crime story. I am looking forward to what he has to come up with next. And in the meantime, I also hope that his efforts of taking Korean productions abroad will actually be become successful. That's it for today's Heart to Heart. I'll be back with more next time.